How many of you know that your life is leaving a, a legacy? That long after you're gone, the memories of your life will remain. We're in control of how our life is going to read, how that book reads. One day it's going to be published. The book of your life. What's it going to say? Brethren, I want to talk to you plain some today. I want you to hear what I'm saying. We can't be friends of the world. We can't follow the ways of the world. Oftentimes we think, well, we got to get the ways of the world out of our life. We got to get paganism out of our life. It's more than paganism, it's more than celebrations, it's a mentality, it's the way we think. It's humanism. Now, I want you to hear what I'm about to say. Don't be a charmer. Don't try to be charming. That comes straight from the pits of hell. That's deceptive by its very nature. Ladies, don't be flattering. Don't be enticing with your eyes. Watch what you wear. Don't try to catch someone's attention by what you wear. That's not God's way. That's actually a dating mentality. I'll talk about that Tuesday night. That's a mentality that is there to impress someone. While I want to impress someone. Well, you may impress someone, but you end up getting married. You're not the person. That was a show. You learn how to be charming. You learn how to say the right thing. Some of you have been reading books. What women like? You put it down and burn it. You hear what I'm saying? That's, I wouldn't want that used on anybody I know. Men want to find lines that women like to hear. That's all it is. Find something that they like to have. The whole motivation It's not truth. You know, one major difference between dating and courting, dating is progressive. Dating is deceptive by its very nature. Dating is, dating is, to, is to think about how you can impress the other person. No, never mind whether it's the truth or not. The truth is, is, <laughs> is a casualty of war. You see, never mind whether it's the truth or not. That doesn't matter. Just so that person thinks of me highly. I want to listen to me. We're trying to impress people. You start trying to impress God. Quit trying to impress people. Get it out of your mind that I want somebody to think of me highly. I want to be highly respected. If you don't want to, look, the only reason we should want to be highly respected is in order that the Word of God that resides in us, which comes out of our mouth, is respected. That's the reason why. If it's bringing glory to us, it's wrong. You hear what I'm saying? If it brings glory to us, it's satanic. It doesn't come from God. So quit trying to charm people. Flattering. What do you think the beast is going to do when he comes on the scene? According to Daniel chapter 11, he's going to deceive people. How? By flattering and smooth speech. He's going to charm people just like the serpent did in the garden. That is a worldly satanic mentality. And as people making a claim to godliness, we need to get that out of us. We get in a habit of trying to put on a good front to be liked, you see, to say the right thing. How about saying the truth or keeping your mouth shut, one or the other? That's what I say. Now, I say that's what I say. I didn't say that's what I do because I'm talking to me too. Well, I'm talking to me first and foremost. I've always had a problem wanting to please people. I've always had a humanistic mindset. 
I mean, I thank God that Paris Reedhead's sermon woke me up. But you know what? It woke me up to see myself. We should be concerned for people. We should love people. But oftentimes, we're not completely honest, see, with each other. If our, if our whole purpose is to make someone else feel good, that's not strengthening and encouraging, you see. You strengthen and encourage people by telling the truth. Well, that doesn't mean that you go tell someone the truth just to hurt their feelings and not be sensitive. I'm not saying that, and you know that. You know, we're far away from God's way in so many areas. Perhaps we can't do it all. But we look at the world. We're raised in a world, and we automatically think, well, I guess it's just the way it is. It's the way it is, but it's a way that's going to pass away. It is the kingdoms of this world. It's their way. It's Satan's way. It's the way that came as a result of the fall, the curse. There's a better way. There's a much better way. Talking about dating or courting, I mean, I don't know what else to call it. Courting sounds old-fashioned. I don't know what else to call it. Really, it's a time of examination. It's a time to gather information. That's what it is. Dating is a time to hide information. Dating is a time to make sure no bones slop out of your closet. You see, whoops. <laughs> Did I tell you I had two children? Did I tell you I've been married four times before? <laughs> I didn't slip my mind. Did I tell you that I'm in debt? Did I tell you I got no money in the bank? Did I tell you I don't own a home? <laughs> I tell you, that's, that's my cousin's car I borrowed to take you out with. And another cousin loaned me the money to pay for the movies. Did I tell you that? You know what God's way is? Look at Jesus. He's our bridegroom. And he's gone away to prepare a place. And in that place, there's riches and there's provision. You see, that's God's way. If you don't have your money, you can't get married. I wouldn't marry you. No, no way would I marry anyone. You know what? When God uh, chose a nation, you know what his command was? You know what his instruction was in Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 5? You know what is this? I love this, and I wish, I wish, I, I don't have any, I really, I don't have any, you know, hopes that we would ever see that today. But boy, how glorious it would be if we could, if we did. You know what he told the young man? He said, now, when you take a wife, this is what I want you to do. I don't want you to go to war. You can't be in the army for one year. You can't have a job for one year. You can't run your own business for a whole year. What's your job for that first year that you join yourself and you take a wife is to stay home with her. And you know what God said to do? What his job is? It is to bring happiness to his wife. 